today we will study chemistry of gasification so why do we do gasification what are its goal why should we study its chemistry and then study some reactions and then we'll see what is the composition of reducer gas the goal of gasification is to convert chemical energy of any carbonaceous material which is in solid to combustible gas now this combustible gas is also chemical energy so we are changing chemical energy of the solid fuel to the chemical energy of the gaseous fuel. this is as opposed to combustion where you convert chemical energy stored in carbon fuel to heat and non combustible gases in gasification you convert to chemical energy you can use it for combustion or you can use it again as a feedstock for high energy liquid or gaseous fuel so why do we go for gaseous fuel instead of solid fuel or you convert to liquid fuel in instead of solid fuel because there are distinct advantages of using liquid or gaseous fuel over solid fuel some of these advantages are listed here like it can be transported easily through pipeline leave less or no residue after burning then burn easily with higher combustion efficiency can be used in vehicles oblique turbines lesser emissions more controlled combustion for example variation in load demand can be easily tackled so these are some of the liquid and gaseous fuel advantage that's why we convert this solid fuel into liquid or gaseous fuel now there are two routes one is biochemical route and another is thermochemical route when you don't when you don't specify any route then default is thermochemical route only so we will study this thermochemical is a graph of chemical and sensible energy in producer gas this is a graph of equivalence ratio versus energy in the gas for a wooden fuel you are aware of what is equivalence ratio that is the ratio of actual air fuel ratio used in the combustion process to the stoichiometric air fuel ratio in combustion you supply more than the stoichiometric that's what we have done in earlier as when supply excess of air for combustion we know that and uh, for gasification we supply less air now what is its effect on energy you see as you increase the equivalence ratio the sensible energy goes on increasing that means the heat in the gas which can be measured with the help of temperature is increasing whereas the chemical energy actually it increases but after certain point the chemical energy starts decreasing that means this chemical energy which is which is there in your fuel starts getting converted into sensible energy this total energy line is sum of sensible energy plus chemical energy this is constant for any material if you see here so this is the area where gasification that is approximately 0.27 so gasification typically requires one fifth to one third of theoretical oxygen that is one when you do gasification in addition to chemical energy you will have some sensible energy in the gas then this is normally lost because if you use it for engine you need to cool it if you use it for thermal purpose then sensible heat may be used let's see what is the sensible heat it is the heat related to changes in temperature there is another latent heat which related to change in phase so in the most of the application you when you want to use it for engine then you have to get, cool it down and then these vapors are condensed so the sensible energy is lost now this diagram has been taken from this reference which i have shown why we study its chemistry so when you want to convert solid fuel into gas to control the output you need to study its chemistry so what is the expected gas composition if you want to optimize or increase the desired composition of any particular gas then you need to know its chemistry if you want to design the gasifier if you have different feed stocks and based on the chemical analysis you want to tell how much is the expected gas then you need to know its chemistry then gasification process this you all know that four processes are there combustion reduction pyrolysis drying and this is the gasifier and different zones are there location of different zones depends upon direction of air flow and type of gasifier and this is your updraft gasifier let's discuss each of these processes one by one starting with drying pyrolysis and then 
combustion reduction. That's what we will do. In drying zone, the feedstock, which is maybe if it is moist, it will be heated and then dry feedstock plus water. That's what is happening in drying zone. In pyrolysis, dry feedstock is converted to solid, liquid, and gaseous phase. This we have also done in thermochemical degradation. Temperature ranges 200 to 500 degrees centigrade. So various chars, tars, heavier hydrocarbon and water and various gases, carbon dioxide, water, vapors, carbon monoxide and various hydrocarbons may be there. Biomass decomposes faster above 200 degrees centigrade. So in general, thermochemical conversion of biomass with atmospheric air or oxygen in presence of heat then you can write this equation carbon monoxide hydrogen nitrogen carbon dioxide water hydrocarbons char tars heat so this is the total output which is coming from this biomass and these are the gases which we are normally interested because these are going to give us some energy so let's see some of the reactions undergo in the gasifier